The Only Child, Day 15 or 1. Pray against the spirit of Little Emperor Syndrome, which is a situation in which the parents lavish their love, attention, and resources on one child, and as a result, the child becomes spoiled and behaves like a little emperor. Pray that your child does not end up as a spoiled child. Do you feel like you are noticing the characteristics of a spoiled child? Do you feel like your sweet child turned into an ungrateful child? Have you ever wondered or how to unspoil your child? I know that this can be hard because you don't even realize that this is happening and then BAM! You hear the disrespect in your child's voice and realize that you need to stop doing that for your child. When you begin to see that your children are displaying the same spoiled behavior as ungrateful children, you know that it's time to teach your kids how to be grateful again. Before we begin, I do want to point out that there is no reason to feel guilty. You are here because you are ready to help your spoiled child get back to that kind, loving child that you know they are inside. To be honest, it probably started because you do love your child and you thought you are helping. How to unspoil a child? Point 1. Be consistent. Before we begin, let me say that with everything, consistency is key in helping your spoiled child to be unspoiled. It's worth repeating, consistency is key. If you can stick to your rules, you will see much quicker results. This is the key to success. If you want to know the truth about this apartment, ask teachers. Point 2. Use the when then method. Use the when then method. When you, then you, when you have done your chores, then you can use your phone. You are essentially giving your child a choice. You are not yelling. You are not upset. You are simply letting your child choose. If they want to play, they need to finish cleaning. When you finish cleaning, then you can play. If your child wants to have a snack, he has to eat his vegetables. When you finish your vegetables, then you can have a snack. If she wants to go to the park, she needs to have her bed made. When you make your bed, then you can go to the park. If they want to play a game, they have to finish their homework. When you have finished your homework, then you can play your video games. When you have filled up your reward jar for being kind, then we can go out for ice cream. And though they only have a limited number of choices, it is still a choice. You are giving your child the power and they will decide how they want to proceed. Point 3. Set expectations. Give your child a rundown of the day, if possible. Let them know what to expect. Example, we will be going to the supermarket today. You will not be buying anything. If you ask for something while we are there, I will be taking away electronics for the remainder of the day. I will have to do this because I am telling you right now that we are going there for groceries and nothing else. Do you understand? You are merely telling them ahead of time and asking them to respect what you say. Point 4. Stop buying unnecessary things for your child. Your child might ask you for something or you might purchase unneeded stuff because they are asking. Learn to say no without an apology. Point 5. Teach them to buy things for themselves. The value of hard work should never be overlooked. If your child wants something, tell them how much it costs and let them work hard to make that money. How wonderful they will feel when they can accomplish that on their own. They are so proud. Point 6. Teach your child to give. If your child gets a new toy, 
have them donate one to someone else. Not a broken one or less valuable one, but one that someone else will love. Your child may become overwhelmed with too many toys, just like we become overwhelmed with too much stuff. Point 7. Time matches more. Spend more time doing things with your child. You don't need to buy things for them. Just spend time with them. If they act entitled or ungrateful, talk to them. Sit them down and explain it to them. Then, following through with the consequences. Never use empty threats. Day 15 Prayers Prayer 1 Lord, give me new eyes. Help me see each challenge as an opportunity to train my children toward right thinking and right living. Proverbs chapter 1 verse 8 says, My child, listen when your father corrects you. Don't neglect your mother's instruction. Lord, this is a reminder that it is my job to instruct. I shouldn't expect my children to understand right and wrong. Lord, Help me not to let opportunities for training slip by because I don't want to take the time to teach my children what is right and good. Help me to remember that the small things I teach my children now will be the foundation for all to come in their lives. Prayer 2 Lord, give me a new attitude. Remind me that any moment of the day can be a start over. Remind me, remind me that any moment of the day can be a start over moment and a chance for an attitude adjustment. My bad attitude comes when I want my way or when I feel others are intruding in my comfort or peace. As Ephesians chapter 4 verse 2 says, Always be humble and gentle. Be patient with each other, making allowance for each other's faults because of your love. I know, Lord, that it's impossible to be humble, gentle, patient, and loving and have a bad attitude at the same time. Change me on the inside, Lord, so I can change my mind and actions. Prayer 3 Lord, give me a new focus. Help me to pluck any worries from my mind and place them firmly in your hands. I know when I'm looking at worries and fear, I'm not looking at you. I also know when I'm looking at you, my worries and fears become a blur. Instead, help me to be thankful for all the ways you've already shown up in my job as a parent. Help me to trust that you'll be faithful in the future too. As Philippians chapter 4 verse 6 says, Don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Tell God what you need and thank Him for all He has done. I thank you that my focus on you will change my heart and my thoughts for the better. Amen. Day 16 or 2 Pray against the spirit of Mother does it all. The child gets used to having everything done, managed, and taken care of by their parents. This child may end up being very irresponsible and lazy to the extent that they later become burdens to their spouses or to the church if they choose religious life. Day 16 Prayer Dear Lord, there are many of us only children who are ended by laziness. We pray against the force that weighs us down or convinces us we should not even try. Please motivate us and encourage us to do the very things we know we are responsible for. Please help us to fight laziness. Although for those who are exhausted, we do pray for adequate rest. Help us to find balance in life. Holy Spirit, guide us. We commit our daily actions to you, God, asking that you move through us and do incredible things through us. Empower us 
strengthen us and fill our hearts with passion. In Jesus' name, Amen. Day 17 or 3. Pray for self-confidence. This is one area that is a big challenge to the only child. Day 17 prayer. Lord, true source of light and wisdom, let a ray of your brilliance penetrate my understanding. Grant me a retentive memory and the ability to grasp things correctly and completely. Let me be convincing in my explanations, steadfast and unwavering in my presentations. Give me your confidence to trust my God-given abilities. Help me with each task at hand. Guide me through its completion. Amen. Day 18 or 4. Pray for understanding. The lack of help from all the siblings may put too much pressure on the parents and cause conflicts. Only child sometimes can be on a perpetual fight with the parents or one of the parents for lack of proper understanding. Day 18 Prayer Heavenly Father, I ask that you would give me an understanding and discerning heart. Help me to be slow to get angry but quick to respond to the needs disappointment, and problems that others are facing. Keep me, Lord, from developing a judgmental spirit that can so often jump to the wrong conclusions and prevent me from speaking too hastily, which can so often cause sadness and pain to those that are in need and trouble. Lord, I want to be used by you as a channel of blessing, and too often, I speak out of turn and do not show the loving compassion that I want to show. Teach me, Lord, how to relate to people, and I pray that you will change me from the inside out to be the person that you would have me to be. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Day 19 or 5. Pray for the spirit of detachment. Parents may become too attached to the child's success and try to live through them rather than give them space. This can make the only child experience delayed teenagehood. Day 19 Prayer I beg of you, my Lord, to remove anything which separates me from you and you from me. Remove anything that makes me unworthy of your sight, your control, your reprehension, of your speech and conversation, of your benevolence and love. Cast from me every evil that stands in the way of my seeing you, hearing, tasting, severing, and touching you, fearing and being mindful of you, knowing, trusting, loving, and possessing you, and as far as may be, enjoying you. This is what I ask for myself and honestly desire from you. Amen. Prayer 2. Prayer of Detachment. Saint John of the Cross, 1542 to 1591. Deliver me, O Jesus, from the desire of being loved. Deliver me, O Jesus, from the desire of being extolled. Deliver me, O Jesus, from the desire of being praised. Deliver me, O Jesus, from the desire of being preferred. Deliver me, O Jesus, from the desire of being consulted. Deliver me, O Jesus, from the desire of being approved. Deliver me, O Jesus, from the desire of being popular. Deliver me, O Jesus, from the fear of being humiliated. Deliver me, O Jesus, from the fear of being despised. Deliver me, O Jesus, from the fear of suffering rebuke. Deliver me, O Jesus, from the fear of being forgotten. Deliver me, O Jesus, from the fear of being wronged. 
Deliver me, O Jesus, from the fear of being ridiculed. Deliver me, O Jesus, from the fear that others may be loved more than I. Jesus, grant me the grace to desire that others may be esteemed more than I. Jesus, grant me the grace to desire that in the opinion of the world others may increase and I may decrease. Jesus, grant me the grace to desire that others may be chosen and I set aside. Jesus, grant me the grace to desire that others may be praised and I unnoticed. Jesus, grant me the grace to desire that others may become holier than I, provided that I may become as holy as I should. Amen. Day 20 or 6. Pray that your child may overcome loneliness. Perhaps the most apparent disadvantage of being an only child is the feeling of loneliness. Not having a sibling to play with regularly, or who they are able to share their thoughts and memories with can be difficult. Scripture reference, Deuteronomy chapter 31, verse 6. Day 20 Prayer Heavenly Father, I need you. I feel like no one understands what I am going through. I feel alone and unseen. My heart aches and I am filled with sadness. I am coming to you, dear Father, asking for your comfort. I am praying for you to remind me that I am not alone. You see me. Even if I feel like no one else sees me or listens to me, I know you are with me. You are listening to my every thought, my every word. Fill me with your presence and remind me that I am never alone. In the name of your Son, Amen. Day 21 or 7. Pray for patience among the parents. Parents may put too much pressure on the child, causing anxiety and low self-esteem. Day 21 prayer. When my child tests me, teach me, God, how to respond with wisdom. When I grow irritable, send me patience. When my fury rages, Teach me the power of restraint. When I become fixed in my ways, teach me to be flexible. When I take myself too seriously, bless me with a sense of humor. When I am exhausted, fill me with strength. When I am frightened, fill me with courage. When I am stubborn, teach me how to bend. When I act hypocritically, Help me to align my deeds with my values. When mundane pressures threaten to overwhelm me, help me to remember how truly blessed I am. When I lose my way, God, please guide me on the road back to joy, back to love, back to peace, and back to you. Amen.